your question is use the discriminant to determine the nature of roots of 2 minus 5x that is equal to 4 by x hmm? so for we have to use discriminant method so first what we have to do just we will solve this just go for a cross multiplication what we will get see that x into 2 is 2x minus 5x into x is 5x square that is equal to 4 so we got some equation so first what we have to do to determine your discriminant First, we have to write in a standard form. That is your a x square plus b x plus c. That gives you 0. That means power should be in decreasing order. So now we will rearrange and everything should be at your left side. So here what will happen? See this minus 5 x square. That means it will be minus 5 x square is the first one. Second comes plus 2 x. And this 4 is at the right side. It will come at left. It will become a minus 4. That is equal to 0. Now find out the coefficients. What is your a? See that a, b and c. So here we can get a is equal to minus 5 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to minus 4. You got that. Next, we have to go for your discriminant that is your d. Discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4 is. Now they have told the nature of roots. So we know that if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, we will get what? Real roots. Real and distinct root. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, we will get equal roots. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, we will, what we will get? We will get no real roots or you can say it's an imaginary roots. No real roots. Now, now we will find out our discriminant by taking these values. So d is equal to what? b square. That means 2 square minus 4ac. 4 into minus 5 into minus 4. So here what you get? 2 square is 4. 4 minus, you can see minus y I have written. Minus into minus is plus. Plus into minus is minus. We have written minus here. Now, 4 into 5 is 20. 20 into 4 is 80. So, 4 minus 80 is what? Minus 76. We know that minus, minus sign is always less than 0. You will get what? No real roots. The nature of roots is no real roots. This is your answer.